They chat, they make music, and they cook. Seth Doan is in the kitchen with Lenny and Jesse Ware. Yeah, I've got um, some of these. Thank you, shove them in. Um, we've got, this we've got playful mother-daughter banter during meal prep. You're annoying me. Is entertaining. No. Never, ever with Bloomy. Didn't you know that? Hello and welcome to Table Manners. And millions have been streaming it, listening in. Just say he eats anything. This is great. This is like your own episode of the podcast. Jesse and Lenny Ware's podcast, Table Manners, has become a hit. Mum, he's coming over in 10 minutes. We need to queer eye this kitchen. They generally record in Lenny's South London kitchen. We have people over and we cook them a meal, much like we're cooking for you. And they chat with celebrities in more than 200 episodes. Guests have included Sam Smith, Ed Sheeran, Paul McCartney, Pink, and chef Yotam Otolangi. This tomato yogurt dish is one of his. It can be anyone ranging from politicians to movie stars. Usually Lenny will cook them the meal. I'm pretty good at pulling in the talent. In pulling in the talent and developing a following, it helps that daughter, Jessie Ware, is a British singer-songwriter who's just released her fifth album. That feels good. How did this whole idea of a podcast even begin? I was making music. I was kind of a bit bored. Wanted another, I wanted another, another avenue. I felt like I had this pull to do something else and I was sick of talking about myself and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to ask the questions. Cooking mishaps add to the disarming charm. Anybody who's going to judge my cutting skills, this is not my Tell kitchen. That is a very big knife. Do this, darling. Look. <laughs> this was an attempt at oh, creme brulee. <laughs> The unassuming vibe fosters conversation. The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, let it slip that he'd run for another term. British diver Tom Daly opened up about body image issues. That was like a whole struggle, and then I would feel guilty about what I'd eat, and then mm. had like spouts of bulimia. I think food gives you a different avenue to understanding people's background, their childhood, mm. how things have evolved for them, their lives, really. Totally. Why did you decide to do this as a mother-daughter duo? <laughs> you I did. did. It just happened. Jessie, Jessie. I made you a star. No, Jessie wanted me to cook and she'd do the talking. I, I was going to be the background, like, yeah. She was going to, like, serve Shuffling up. around and serve Go. up. I can't really imagine you ever in the background. You no one that? puts Lenny in the corner. <laughs> Come on. Whatever the ingredients, Jessie says it's helped in her music career, which has spanned a decade. She's opened for Harry Styles to a crowd of 20,000 in Chicago, but at times says she'd suffered from imposter syndrome. Having the podcast and showing my true colors and showing who I am regularly in a very normal setting was kind of the most freeing and emancipating thing for me. And that kind of translated into the way that I approached music. She has a new single about that very topic, Free Yourself. Turn it up, Seth. Come on, let's get it going. See, you're tapping. You're like, come on, let's go, Seth. She debuted the song at Glastonbury, the UK's biggest music festival. It wasn't going to be like, guys, I'm about to play an acoustic number about the struggles of motherhood. No, I wasn't going to do that. So I did a big old banger. Together with her husband, Sam Burroughs, she says she's navigated those struggles of motherhood. But I, I also think that my kids inspire me. They also allow me to not focus on this being the be all and end all. I work better in the studio because I'm like, right, I gotta be out because I gotta do bath time and bedtime. So being a mom make, keeps you humble in a way. Yeah. Well, when your son is putting his hands over his ears when you're playing your new single to him, yeah, it humbles you. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do that? Make it stop, mummy. I'm like, no, we love this one, darling, and we need to get the streams up. Back at brunch with her mom, Jessie says she'd wanted their podcast to mimic the warmth and life of the Friday night dinners of her childhood. Woo! Ooh, very nice. We have loads of fun, and I feel 
very lucky that we have all these like audible memories yeah. forever and ever, like howling, whether for the good and the bad, the accidents. But it's special. My parents live in another country and I wish I could spend this kind of time with them. I don't take it for granted for one second. And I love that the world knows about Lenny. Well, cheers to a dynamic mother-daughter duo. Cheers.